Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 LEGO video games. For this list, we're looking at the very best LEGO games that have allowed ourselves to unleash our creative potential and live out brickified adventures. Which LEGO game is your favorite? Did it make the list? Share it with us in the comments below. Number 20, LEGO Creator. Suppose you were one of those kids who couldn't afford the big and bulky sets or even a handful of LEGO sets in general. If you grew up in the 90s, you most likely had this on your PC. LEGO Creator was essentially the virtual alternative to physical LEGO sets, letting players build their own towns and play within that world. Was it better than the real thing? Arguably not, but for those less fortunate, it was an excellent sandbox title that replicated the creativity LEGOs brought, though it hurts knowing how short-lived the series would become, having spawned only three sequels themed around LEGO Knights and Harry Potter. <laughs> Number 19, Lego Jurassic World. Now show me my new dinosaur. Lego Jurassic World certainly came with a few issues. While we could forgive the recycled mechanics from previous games, the quick time events get a bit repetitive at times. Regardless of how prehistoric it felt in design, Lego Jurassic World was still a solid entry overall. It retold the first four movies in the science fiction franchise, with the same charm and humor we've come to expect from LEGO games while hiding plenty of secrets and Easter eggs from Jurassic Park, as well as other Steven Spielberg movies. And not only could you play as Dr. Malcolm and Mr. DNA, but you could also play as the dinosaurs and even make your own custom dinos. Movie buffs and dinosaur fanatics were certainly gushing over this one. Number 18, LEGO Island Extreme Stunts. Oh, don't worry, we'll get to the more pizza-filled LEGO Island sweetness soon, but in the meantime, let's turn our attention to the Stunt Pack spin-off. LEGO Island Extreme Stunts could not have come at a better time with games like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater seeing resounding success. However, Extreme Stunts brought its own fun to the table. Players could explore an island loaded with places to practice stunts on, as well as collectibles and minigames to let players break from the extreme atmosphere. Whether you played on PS2, PC, or Game Boy Advance, LEGO Island Extreme Stunts was perfect for any LEGO kit. Number 17, LEGO Harry Potter, years 1 through 4 and 5 through 7. Admittedly, the LEGO Harry Potter games haven't aged particularly well, even in the remasters. The cutscenes leave out a lot of context that would confuse those who haven't seen the movies or read the books, and the wand controls can get harrowing. However, for what it is, any Potter fan would enjoy this bricked up version of Hogwarts from the music and sound design to the way it makes the more intense scenes more appropriate for younger viewers. The shorter levels also make the games easy to digest in smaller doses compared to some of the other titles. Number 16, LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. Like our previous entry, LEGO Pirates doesn't provide a lot of context for the story to make sense, but most who have seen the franchise found some appreciation for the title. Focusing on the original trilogy and the fourth movie, On Stranger Tides, players could relive some of the best moments from the franchise, such as the moment where Jack Sparrow and Will Turner meet, and the epic duel with Davy Jones in the Maelstrom. It's by no means a perfect game, but for something simple to play with kids and younger siblings, LEGO Pirates did enough to invigorate or reinvigorate interest in watching the movies once again. Number 15, LEGO Batman 2, DC Superheroes. The DC-themed LEGO games have certainly had a hand in both LEGO and TT Games' success over the last decade or two. In the case of TT Games, LEGO Batman 2 would lay the groundwork for future LEGO games. Though not the first open-world LEGO game, it would be the first in TT's line of LEGO games, allowing players to freely explore Gotham City as the many Batman characters in addition to other DC heroes. It showed how TT's LEGO games could provide an experience similar to big-budget AAA games without sacrificing what made the games fun in the first place. 
Since then, nearly every LEGO game has had open-world elements filled with side missions that pay tribute to their respective IPs. Number 14, LEGO Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. You battle through all six movies. Before the franchise went open world with Batman 2 onwards, we had a fascinating formula used in LEGO Star Wars 3. Though it played similarly to other LEGO games before, it had an interesting new approach to its level design, Story Swap. Now, you could take control of characters whose stories were unfolding at the same time. On top of that, choosing the Clone Wars as the game's setting allowed for more Star Wars fans to be exposed to the animated series. With that in mind, it's no wonder that this game managed to sell well over 5 million copies. Number 13, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. If you're a Marvel fan wanting a game that's gonna last you a good month or two, well, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 has a wealth of content waiting for you. In addition to the standard campaign that lasts 20 levels, players can explore various planets loaded with missions to complete and collectibles to find. Of course, this isn't even the main attraction. No, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 has the honor of featuring the second largest roster of playable characters in the TT Games line of LEGO titles. More than 200 characters total, and that's including DLC characters. Needless to say, there's a lot here that'll keep you entertained. Quill, come in. We're under attack and our shields are almost gone. We need you to hold off the attacking ship while we repair them. Number 12, LEGO Builder's Journey. With TT Games being the primary developer of LEGO video games, it isn't often that we see something LEGO related not made by them. Instead, LEGO Builder's Journey was developed by Lightbrick Studio, LEGO's very own internal video game studio. In between platforming and puzzle challenges lies a story about a father and son, and how important it is to have fun even in adulthood. It's a story that unfortunately feels all too familiar for us older folks and gets a little emotional at times. For 20 bucks, it's an enjoyable, bite-sized game to eat up an afternoon. And it's a game every LEGO fan needs, no matter your age. Number 11, LEGO Racers. By the time 1999 rolled around, everyone and their grandmother was getting their own kart racer spinoff. It was only a matter of time before LEGO got one, but it was a kart racer every kid wanted. Yes, it very much is the same as games before in terms of gameplay. Race around courses using power-ups to take the lead. However, LEGO Racers was unique enough to stand on its own. See, your custom vehicles weren't just cosmetic changes. The arrangement of bricks could actually affect your vehicle's performance. Too many bricks on one side could result in weird steering. Misshapen vehicles might see trouble in acceleration. For once, it felt like creativity was a key component to beating a video game, and LEGO Racers integrated it beautifully. Number 10, Lego Batman the Video Game. Mm -mm. The year 2008 was a big year for The Dark Knight. On top of getting a new movie from director Christopher Nolan, TT Games was releasing their own Lego Batman video game. No longer did we have to beg our parents for a $100 Lego Bat Cave just to play with our own Batman minifit. Play as the world's greatest detective and boy wonder Robin as they stop Gotham's most notorious villains. And once you've beaten each group of criminals, play through their side of the story and carry out their schemes. It was practically two whole games for the price of one, and with its combat, puzzles, and humor, it kept us busy for hours on end. Number 9, Lego City Undercover. Mayor Gleason. Thank you so much for coming back, Chase. I know it can't have been easy for you. I had to get a new passport. By 2013, TT Games and LEGO had mostly been known for their licensed properties. So it was kind of a shocker to see something like LEGO City Undercover get made, and it came out surprisingly well made. Whereas previous video games saw the player juggling multiple playable characters, they were given one character throughout the campaign in different costumes that came with their own abilities. You had to observe your surroundings more, remember which costumes did what, and think a little more outside the box. And despite no definitive theme outside of cops and robbers, there were still tons of goofy references and Easter eggs to find throughout cutscenes and levels. I'm just playing with you so far. 
Number eight, Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures. Ooh. <laughs> Many had wondered which IP TT Games could bring to their newfound LEGO formula after a few games set in a galaxy far, far away. More on those later. Well, LEGO is about to become the new name of adventure with Indiana Jones. Players could relive the glorious trilogy of movies as they sought after the Lost Ark, the Sankara Stones, and the Holy Grail. There was also a bit more of a focus on searching the environment for needed tools and weapons to progress, which sort of fit the spirit of adventure and exploration we've come to expect from Indiana Jones. Number 7. Lego Marvel Super Heroes Before 2013, TT Games had primarily made Lego games centered on Warner Brothers IP like Batman, Harry Potter, and another one we'll get to soon. So to see a studio so closely tied to WB work on a game starring their competitor was flabbergasting. And yet, it's one of the best LEGO games ever made. From its various set pieces of familiar Marvel landmarks across New York to the expansive cast of heroes and villains, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes was a celebration of the entire brand. No matter if you're a fan of popular characters like Spider-Man and the X-Men, or more obscure heroes like Ghost Rider and Howard the Duck, this was a LEGO game we'd complete again and again. Number 6. LEGO Island well, you know, I'm not exactly sure what all there is to do. Could you call this the first open-world LEGO game? It may not be as expansive as newer titles, but in our eyes, LEGO Island absolutely was, and it was fantastic. As one of five playable characters with their own abilities, players could explore an island inhabited by LEGO minifigs and participate in a variety of minigames involving racing, water sports, and even pizza delivery. However, there were times where you'd have to capture the escaped convict known as the Brickster. With its immersive world and fun atmosphere, Lego Island would become a huge part of our childhoods, and we long for the day we see the series come back. Number 5. Lego The Lord of the Rings A master ring to control all others. One ring to rule them all. At first, it sounds weird that a Lego game would just rip audio directly from their source material. However, TT Games managed to make it work brilliantly for LEGO The Lord of the Rings. With this approach, the game was able to retain the dark and heavy tones of the movies while also implementing the goofy humor and antics in cutscenes. It also succeeded in breathing new life into Middle-earth with its visuals and level design. Regardless if you've seen the movies or not, this was well worth a playthrough for any LEGO fan. Heck, the writer of this video doesn't care much about Lord of the Rings, and even he had a blast playing it. Ugh. Number 4. LEGO Dimensions If you want to see a group of lawyers sweat, just show them LEGO Dimensions. Never before had we seen such a massive dynamic of pop culture franchises come together under one banner. LEGO Dimensions sees Batman, Wildstyle, and Gandalf traveling across universes to stop the evil Lord Vortek from merging everyone's worlds together. Whether you're a fan of movies, television, comics, or video games, you'll find a plethora of your favorite franchises here from Scooby-Doo and The Simpsons to Doctor Who and the Powerpuff Girls to Sonic the Hedgehog and Portal. The only downside to the game was just how expensive it was to own with packs coming out. Still, it was worth every penny for this short-lived gem. Number 3. LEGO DC Super Villains We'll soon be out of this depressing place. Not if we can't find a way past those lasers. While the LEGO games have featured character creation in every game since LEGO Star Wars 2, they've never been more than a tool for free play in finding the rest of the minikits. LEGO DC Super Villains changed that. Rather than delegating character creation to just an extra goodie bag again, the game integrated the player's custom villain into the story, granting them more and more powers as the story progressed. Speaking of story, the entire plot centers on the Legion of Doom trying to figure out where the Justice League went, making for a hilarious adventure loaded with excellent boss fights and puzzles. Of all the DC LEGO games, this is a must-own. I grow tired of this time-wasting Number 2. LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga Yes, we heard you on our original top 10. 
TCS should have been number one. Where's TCS? How could you forget about TCS? Look, we know that's entirely our bad. However, if it weren't for another game, we would have placed the complete saga at number one. No questions asked. After all, this was an expanded rendition of the original LEGO Star Wars games, offering up improved level designs, refitting levels to work with new mechanics introduced in LEGO Star Wars 2, and featuring more character customization options. This absolutely would have been our top spot, but then 2022 rolled around. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga <laughs> We're over Tatooine. This will be safer with an old friend. Regardless of how you feel about the originals, the prequels, or the Disney sequels, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is without a doubt the best LEGO game ever made. There's simply so much here that has improved on and expanded the LEGO TT games formula. Character classes with skill trees, a traditional third-person camera to replace the sometimes aggravating diorama-like camera, multiple solutions to puzzles, additional level challenges, more interaction with the environment, and so much more. With more than 300 characters and over 20 planets to explore, with tons of missions waiting to be discovered, this is by far TT Games' most ambitious since LEGO Dimensions, and it's deserving to be called the best LEGO game ever made. We are well aware of that, Admiral. Star Trek! They're coming! In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.